So this message right here is for a lot of my melanated sisters that do this foolery. Mm -hmm. A lot of y'all who do this nonsense. Let me share a little tidbit with you. <clears throat> that I ain't happy syndrome that y'all get. Mm -hmm. That I ain't happy no more syndrome. Mm -hmm. You be like 20, 25 years, sometimes 10 years, 11 years, 5 years in a marriage. You talk about I ain't happy no more. Uh-huh. That I ain't happy syndrome. Mm -hmm. And then you get out there in the world, mm -hmm. in them streets. You get out there in them streets, and them streets teach you something. Uh. <laughs> ain't nothing like it. And them streets teach you something. And then y'all come back to social media talking about, I can't find no man. I don't know why I can't find no man. There's no good man. You had a good one. You had a good one. But you messed that up. Take heed to the message. That queen knows her stuff. Believe that. And that's the biggest excuse we hear why divorces take place. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Um, to your modern women, we don't get it yet. When the wedding vows are being recited, believe it or not, they're like the final warning. Every vow is like, you know, this could happen. In sickness or in health, which means one, you're going to be very sick. I'm not talking about the sniffles or the sneezes. No, you're going to be deathly ill. That's one. For better or for worse. It's not going to be sunshine and rainbows 24-7. There could be some good times. There could be some bad times. Another warning. For richer and for poorer. <laughs> he's not going to have a ton of money all the time. It might come a time when it might be tight or God forbid the man loses his job. Then what? Like I said, the vows is like a final warning. For every vow spoken, you better take about one to two seconds to think very carefully. So... Before you start saying I do, think about it though, because if you expect to be happy 24-7 in a, in a marriage, then you should not get married. I said what I said. Peace.